There's a plugin called Reactor for DaVinci Resolve that will allow you to do audio waveforms and audio spectrums. It's not perfect, but the nice thing about it is that it is free and uh, I'm not affiliated with them and I've used it a few times and I haven't had any issues, bugs or anything like that. And it's not difficult to install at all. So first thing you need to do before anything is install the plugin. So if you go to this website, which I will throw in the links below, right here towards the top, you've got this installing Reactor visually, download the Reactor installer script. Click here and that's it. Once that's downloaded, you go to, back to DaVinci Resolve, go to your Fusion page. Within Fusion, all you do is drag and drop that install into the page. And you'll see you get this ready to install, da, 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 install and launch. This will take a while to install. Once it's installed, what you want to do is close DaVinci Resolve and then relaunch it. So I've already closed and relaunched it. Now I'm going to go to Workspace, Scripts, and I'll have this one here, Reactor, and then Open Reactor. Once the Fusion Reactor opens, scroll down until you see this one here, Audio Waveform, or you can do a search for it. Check that. Once it's checked, you can close this. Now we're going to jump back over to the Edit page and we're gonna to go to effects and we're just gonna type fusion and we're gonna add a fu fusion composition. We're also going to need to make sure that we've got a WAV audio file. Reactor won't work with a MP3, which is what this is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna to go to my deliver tab and I'm gonna hit audio only and then I'm going to make sure my format is WAV and that my bit depth is 16 bit. So if it's not 16 bit, you'll actually get an error message when trying to import it into the Fusion page. And then I'm going to render that WAV 16 bit. You can also, if you prefer, use a program like Audacity, import the MP3 and then export it as a WAV file. There's another limitation on this, and that limitation is going to be the file size. So the file needs to be under 50 megs, which is not much, by the way. So I had a 40 minute video I was working with the other day, and I had to break it up into three sections. In order to break it up, all you need to do, so in this case, what I've done is I've broken my files into two separate parts. So then what I'll do is I'll have a separate audio file and then I'll have a separate fusion composition that goes over that. And since it's a waveform or spectrum, they'll sync together. It, it'll look seamless. That's how to get around that issue with the size limit. All right, so now I'm gonna go into fusion with that fusion composition and I'm gonna right click in my nodes. I'm gonna go add node I'm going to go Fuses and Audio Waveform. So that's going to give me an Audio Waveform node. I'm going to select this little bubble here on the left. So that's showing me what's in the waveform. And I'm even going to connect it to my media out. Over in the right, we have our inspector now. And we want that WAV file. So I'm going to browse for mine. And I'm going to show you real quickly this other one that is not 16-bit. I'm going to import it, and you can see we get wrong bit depth, only 16-bit. Or if it's over the 50 meg, you'll get a message that says a file too large. It, with this WAV file, you can reduce the quality all you want. And the reason being is that this is just used to create the spectrum. It's not going to necessarily be out exported as the audio. My original MP3 is going to be exported as the audio. Okay, notice what I did there when I switched file sizes after I reloaded it and it reloaded the sample onto the page. Now I'm going to go over to Spectrum and I'm going to turn on my Spectrum and I'm going to slide my player head ahead here and you can see we've got our Spectrum started. Nothing too exciting about it at the moment. I'm going to switch my appearance from rough to needles to give me those little bars that I want. 
I'm going to change my FFT to 512 to give it a bit more thickness. You can, with this, you're just going to have to kind of play with it a little bit and find out what works for you. I'm going to increase my smooth factor just a little bit as well. And my scale looks all right where it is. I, I'm, I'm happy enough with that. Now, something else that you can do is you can go over to your layout and you can change the look of this. So I'll switch mine to this kind of pink, you know, purplish color. And I'm going to increase my line thickness. There we go. I still want a little bit of space between them. There's not a whole lot you can do in regards to adjustments for this, which unfortunately is one of the downsides of this. But again, it's free. Um, if you want something that gives you a whole lot of functionality and modifications that you can do, well, in that case, you're going to need to pay for an Adobe Clearative Cloud subscription and use After Effects. Um, but you can do some changes. This is a spectrum. If you want to do a waveform, just uncheck spectrum and that'll give you a waveform. And then again, you can kind of change the levels as you want. I'm going to remove the logo because I don't really need that. And I'm going to switch back to Spectrum. So I'm going to jump back to my edit page. And we can kind of see now we've got the Spectrum lines popping up. And when somebody talks really loud, we're kind of losing that person. So I'm going to need to drop it down a little bit. And this is just kind of where playing with some of these adjustments comes in. You're just going to have to look and see what works best for what you want. Other options are the rough that we started on with, bars, smooth, smooth filled, and needles. So you can kind of see why I went with needles. There you go. That's a basic spectrum or unchecked basic waveform that you can use in DaVinci Resolve with Reactor.